A radio frequency ablation is application of one megahertz radio waves, which is the upper AM frequency band of the radio, through a needle to a specific location of your anatomy that is painful, and it produces heating of tissues through spinning ions in the tissues up to 80 degrees centigrade or approximately 175 degrees Fahrenheit, which will thermocoagulate or heat and activate the painful structures. Most patients will experience partial instant pain relief after a radio frequency ablation, but typically the maximum pain relief requires four to six weeks to develop for the heat inactivated nerves to completely degenerate. Before radio frequency ablation can be considered in management of your chronic pain problem, we will do diagnostic local anesthetic injections of that part of your anatomy, which is suspected to be the pain generator. And if you obtain greater than 50% relief after dual comparative local anesthetic injections, then radiofrequency ablation will be performed. Typically, muscle soreness is the most common side effect where the radiofrequency probe penetrates the back muscles. This can be treated with muscle relaxants, topical ice packs, and pain relievers if necessary. Now about 10 to 15 percent of patients can develop what's called a post-radiofrequency neuritis, which presents as aching, burning, and tingling sensations in the area of the radiofrequency procedure. And this can also be treated um, with pain relievers, both opioid and non-opioids, and in addition, during the procedure, we place cortisone around the radiofrequency nerve to decrease the incidence of this occurring to below 10% in patients. For patient safety reasons, we prefer to do unilateral RFA procedures to avoid unwanted side effects and complications such as dizziness when bilateral neck RFA procedures are done, or trouble breathing when bilateral thoracic radiofrequency procedures are done from a partially collapsed lung. In addition, radiofrequency ablation procedures are time intensive and there are limitations on how much your health insurance carrier will reimburse. Most patients report being able to decrease their doses of opioid and non-opioid pain relievers after the procedure, with some 15 to 30% of patients able to completely stop all pain relief medications, particularly when combined with post-radio frequency adjuvant therapies such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, and cognitive behavioral treatments. Multi-center clinical outcome studies have shown that at least 50% pain relief is obtained by the majority of patients, which can typically last anywhere from 6 to 18 months, and a minority of patients will obtain complete relief for decades. The radiofrequency nerves can regrow a millimeter a month and reconnect, in which case the pain will return, but that can be treated with a repeat RFA procedure. What should you stop doing while you're having these treatments and for how long is individual specific, but any stress forces applied to the axial spine or peripheral joints will produce degenerative changes over time, such as painful osteoarthritis. How you need to modify your activity plan can be easily developed through consultation with our physical therapists here at the Ramo Center, who will develop a, a plan for you and teach you about the do's and don'ts of your chronic pain 